Hello everybody again, Frankie Day here. This is video number two for Triple Feature Day. Okay guys, uh, this is going to be a new introduction of a new winter build I'll be doing off and on. And uh, I'll probably be doing some cracking on some other kits back here in my stash pile. So tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and uh, reorganize my stash pile. I already had a stash pile crash, uh, you know, so I don't want to have any more of them. And uh, I went down to Lowe's and got me a couple of good big bowl long tables. And so I'm going to put, put all my models on there and get them nice and organized and make me a little alley where I can come through and adventure around and see what kill I can pull up and uh, start building gear for you guys. So my day will be fulfilled tomorrow, so videos will go on. Okay guys, uh, this is going to be, I showed this model to you guys in Christmas Joys video I had. And I got two vacuum form kits that I found in my stash pile hidden with the with the rest of them back there and uh, so this is going to be the PBM 3 Mariner Flying Boat circa 1941 now years past about uh, I'll say about 30 years ago I bought this publication it's the Mariner it has all these beautiful looking reference pictures you can see and the models everything on there so this is a good reference book to help me build this kit because in this kit's a vacuum form kit it doesn't have no details of the construction of the interior parts or nothing they just give you a fuselage and a bunch of junk to put it together and everything is up to you so it was up to me to make a decision i got this book out of mothballs back in my my file cabinet that i had and I'm going to use this as a reference manual along with the instructions to construct a mighty PBM uh, M flying boat. And uh, it's going to be a slow build. It's going to be a while to get it done. It depends on how enthused I get into it. So I'm going to delve into this and start cutting out the parts and start preparing them. That'll be about three or four days for that. And uh, probably make a video of that. But after the construction, after I do all that, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to get my rules, rulers out and my uh, dividers and start making me some uh, bulkheads and everything on the inside. So I can have a flight for a flight uh, flight deck for the cockpit interiors and everything. And uh, I got a lot of spare parts in my spare parts box over here. I can take out parts here and there and then add to the kit. So like I say, guys, this is a vacuum form kit. It's not made for the novice. It's, it's, it's made for somebody who knows how to work with vacuum forms. Vacuum forms are are very difficult to work with because, like I say, you got to build all the interior structures, such as formers, ribs, spars, you know it. And uh, this kit will uh, present a lot of that. Okay, guys, we're going to swing around and we're going to review this thing one more time. And to bring Captain back to yours truly, and uh, we'll swing on to the next video, which I think you'll like that one too. Okay, guys, put this little cigar down over here. We'll swing the camera over here to hard to starboard here. We'll take a look at the at the Mariner. Okay, guys, this is how big it is right here. As you can see, this is a big airplane. This is 148 scale. This is the combat model back for. I think I bought this back in '83. I'm quite sure I did. And uh, I've read the instructions on here. 99, 9 tenths of the, all the all the instructions here is all construction, just more or less suggestions on using uh, fillers, using uh, sheet styrene, and such like that. So actually, this kit here is more or less intended for somebody who knows how to build vacuum forms, who can build scratch, and has experience on these type of things. In other words, you'll be at loss, guys. He's got to have internal structures here, but like I mentioned on the uh, on Christmas Joys, if you don't put no formers there, you've got that fuselage to give it a good squeeze. It'd be like a sponge. It'd be nothing, guys. There'd be nothing in there. It'd just be like a an empty shell. And uh, so this thing's got to have some structural values to it also. So I'm going to make uh, templates for the ring ribs, spars, and everything. And uh, to get the, the shape of the fuselage, you got to use a contour gauge. You take the contour gauge. Let me stick this camera so you guys can see. It's hard to, to 
explain things with this tiny monitor, this here camera. Right here on the side of the fuselage right here. You put a, it's called a, con, you take a contour gauge, you put it up the next fuselage, and the needles will conform the shape of the fuselage. Then you trace around the contour gauge, and you got your, uh, your formers right there. So I'll probably need about five or six formers on this thing. And when you're cutting out vacuum form parts, guys, they got to be, you got to take some wet dry sandpaper on a flat surface. On a flat surface, and you got to sand very flat and pull the fuselage over and pull off a little flash off the fuselage. Do the same thing the other fuselage have. Then when it's all done, take your fuselage half and see if they mate properly. If they do, you're excellent. Add your formers and everything else. On top of the joints here, what you got to do here is you got to add butt strips. That will lock in the fuselage right there. So, these, uh, this, uh, the instruction this kid is very uh, bland. Like I say, it's 99, 9 tenths of it is more or less suggestions. To go buy this, do this, do that. General instructions for assembly. You know, the kid gives you an option here. You have to have, you have the, the PBM 5A or you have the PBM 5. Mine's going to be the PBM 3. And the PBM 3 is that the cowling is going to be a lot more smaller because of the power plant that they use on the, on the right cyclone engine that they use, they use a, a, a bigger engine on it. That's why I allow for a bigger cowling. So on the three model, it's going to be a shorter cowling. And I've got that already. What will replace that will be the monogram uh, 148 scale B17 cowling. Will fit in the place of these cowlings here. And you got to scribe all these parts. Got to scribe most. Of this kit is mostly got the panels already done. And it really, it really does save work and time. And it really accepts washes quite well. Okay, guys, back to the kit now. We'll put the literature over here. The slide, so I'll get to this by later on. Two sheets of things comes with. Comes with uh, duplicate sheets of this. You got your radar, the housing pits on top of your, your fuselage. You got your stabilizer. You get the bottom of your center wing section, top and bottom of your wings. You got your nacelles right here. Beat your beat your, your landing gear tires. They're pretty good. They could be. Uh, I, could, I could use them. Here's your wheel wells right here with the need for the for the five version. And here's your pontoons, your wing floats. All these little pips got to be sanded out, guys. A little filler. This thing is very, very uh, acceptable to filler. So main thing is to use less filler on it. You got to make sure everything fits properly. Everything has got to be cut precisely and sanded down level, and uh, make sure it goes on quite well. And uh, make the finish, make the parts together. You know what? How much filler you're going to need. Sheet number two is almost like sheet number one. Got your, your right fuselage top of your center wing, your vertical stabilizer or, or rudder fins. These are the bottom of your wings here. You got locations here for your wing floats. And uh, that's about all there is in this thing. It, it got a bag over there too. I didn't bring it out. It's got the, the transparency parts for the kit. So therefore it's uh, it's uh, that's got to be needed too for fitted parts. So you gotta make sure all the transparency parts are cut out first or they before this thing is buttoned up, you gotta make sure everything fits good. Other words you're gonna run into trouble. So this thing here is more or less you just got them you just got to know what you're doing. And uh these vacuum form kits are there's a trick to building them. They could be your friend or they could be your worst enemy. I've seen guys before take them and just throw it in the trash can and say, man, what the hell you do that for? He goes, oh, I can't build another thing. Well, give it to me and I'll build it. And I took it and built it and gave it back his model. This is how it looks like. He was really amazed. So these are not for everybody. So if you want to get into a project, this is it. It's getting cold and rainy, snowy outside. This is going to be the next build coming up. After this, I'm going to hop on my Whitley bomber, get everything pieced together, get a coat of primer, let it dry 24 hours, then I'm going to go ahead and add the final colors and get her all knocked out. 
and uh, I can spend more time on the Mariner flying boat, and I get cracking on some other stuff coming up. So, you guys got any buddy builds coming up? Like, let me know, guys. I like to get involved. You know me. Okay, guys, that's about does this for video number one of the uh, kit entry of the uh, PBM Mariner flying boat uh, winter build. And uh, that'd be it. We'll see the cab out of yours truly. Okay, gang. So I'm going to get cracking on this after I get that Whitley all buttoned up and uh, primed and ready for the uh, final paint schedule. And I'll go ahead and start cutting out the parts. I'm going to start cutting out the fuselage parts first. Cut out the fuselage hulls half. Cut out the stabilizers and all the rudder fins. And I got to make spars for that. And I got a lot of sheets tiring. I got about five or six sheets I'm right in front of me I'm looking at. And a bunch came with the kit, so it's fair winds and smooth sailing for me. Okay, guys, that concludes the entry of the winter build of the vacuum form kit by Combat, the PBN 3 Mariner flying boat, and the brilliant color of uh, early uh, seaplane uh, gray, blue, gray, same as my Coronado. Next video is going to be a Jolly 2 with my Jaguar behind me. So stay tuned for that, guys. Triple feature for Saturday. Can't beat that. <laughs> okay, fellas, this is Frankie Dave. One more time again, signing off. God bless you guys. Make Mama happy. Please subscribe. Happy modeling. And uh, stay inside. Get some tea. A couple of beers, whatever you want to do. And just build your models and let your cares float away. Frankie Dave signing off. Catch you on the next video. Bye, gentlemen. Thanks, fellas.